Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Notice how it feels. That breath is the force of life, keeps the body and mind together, both literally and figuratively. Figuratively here in the, the meditation. It's what keeps you grounded in the body, grounded in the present moment. And so to stay here, you want to make sure that that energy is good. So play with the breath for a while. It's in playing with the breath that you begin to understand this process of fabrication. How it is that you created this assemblage here and how you keep it going. And the question is, now that you've got this assemblage, what are you going to do with it? As human beings, we have lots of capabilities. One of John Sow's favorite Dharma talks was that humans have a lot of capabilities. They can go higher than animals and they can go lower than animals. So of course we all want to go higher. You have to be clear, though, on what it means to go higher. Train the mind to find a happiness that's not harmful to anybody. That's a good determination you can make for yourself. Because we all want happiness, and that's what all our actions are aimed at. And we're going to keep looking for it until we find something that's really, really good. And the Buddha gave us the opportunity to find something that goes beyond this assemblage here, that happiness. It's deathless. No birth, no death. That's what we're working for. So you've got to train this process of fabrication. So you're fabricating your your thoughts, your words, your deeds, you're fabricating your body, your speech, and your mind in ways that lead to the direction of a true and harmless happiness. And so until you get to that point, you've got to learn how to use this fabrication, this process of fabrication, and learn how to use it well. So there's skill in the way you breathe, skill in the way you speak, skill in the way you think. That was the goal to which the Buddha devoted himself, and as he pointed out to others, this is the best goal there is. So keep that point in mind, that what we're working on here is something that's really noble really good. Noble in the sense that it's harmless, and good in the sense that once the goal is attained, you don't have to go looking for any other goals. So always make sure that you keep working in that direction. Whether you get there quickly or slowly, that's up to all kinds of factors. But try to keep that compass pointed straight in that one direction. That way the life that you have is a life that's used well. <laughs>